for a holiday in Sagana. Oh, lucky you. You get to swim and sail and have fun. Say what now? Yes, he will get to boats and then he will go and sail and do so many nice things there. Wow, thanks Charlie for adding more joy. I'm now looking forward for the holiday. You didn't know you were going to sail? No. I was just looking forward to going on a trip. Shaki, remember when you get to the boat, you have to stick to the rules. No monkey business. Kadogo, really now? Yeah. Bingo! What now? I just remembered the story in John 15, what we should remain in God. I totally get you. So if I stick to what I should do at the boat, and even when I go to swim, and even when we go to... Okay, Shaki, you've made your point. You will have fun there, but let us focus and understand what Shali is saying. Yes, I mean, if we remain and keep and stick to God's word, mm -hmm. we do and ask, whatever we do and ask, we shall bear good fruit. Yep. We get to sail in his presence. Oh, I'm in a music mood. Mm -hmm. With Christ in my heart, I can smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. With Christ in my heart, I can smile at the storm. As we go sailing home. Sailing, 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 sailing. In my heart, I can smile at the storm as, as we, we go, go sailing home. <laughs> Bye. Bye. With Christ in my heart, I can smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. With Christ in my heart, I can smile. At the storm, as we go sailing home. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? My name is Teacher Sam, and I'm so happy to be with you today. I've just been singing a song about, with Christ in my heart, I can smile at the storm. Before we begin our lesson today, I would like us to appreciate the music team, the children who have sung for us so well, and Charlie and her friends. Did you enjoy watching? Right, I also enjoyed. And so, because we enjoyed, we need to appreciate them with a clap. How many claps should we give them? One, two, three, four, five. How many? Four. All right, so we'll give them four claps. One, two, three, four. 
Good job, boys and girls. Now, boys and girls, we would like to begin our lesson today with a song that we just sang. Can we stand up, all of us? Let's stand up. All right. Now that you have stood up, you can do this, and then you do this, and then you do this, and then you do this, and this, and this, and then we do this. All right? For the people who are watching us, for the people who are listening to us, sorry, we, are, we want to sing the song, With Christ in my heart, I can smile at the storm. All right? So we raise our two hands when we say Christ, and then we point to our heart, and then we sail the same way we sail, and then we say home. All right? Let's go. With Christ in my heart, I can smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. With Christ in my heart, I can smile at the storm. As we go sailing home. Now, boys and girls, have you ever gone for a journey? Or even traveled? whether to go to church or anywhere. Was the road straight or it, has, it had corners? Did it have some bumps on it? Yes. Roads are usually not just straight. Sometimes you take corners and sometimes you get to the bumps. That's how our life is. Today's lesson is sailing in his presence. Can everyone say sailing in his presence? Sailing in his presence. Now, boys and girls, sailing is taking a journey, but not on the road, but on the sea or the lake. As you do that, we say you are sailing. You're not on the road, but you're on the sea or the lake, then you are sailing. Now, sailing is like taking a journey on a sea or a lake. And I will tell you a Bible story that is a story from the Bible about a journey Jesus and his disciples made in the lake when they wanted to go on the other side. And I would like you to listen carefully because in this story, we have Jesus, we have the disciples, and we have a storm or a strong wind, and Jesus was in that boat. That means Jesus was present in the boat where the disciples were. Our Bible story comes from the book of Mark. Everyone say Mark. Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4, verse 35 to 39. And the Bible says, let's read the Bible together. I will read for you as you follow. That day at evening, Jesus said to his followers, the followers of Jesus are the disciples of Jesus. Come with me, cross the lake, across the lake. So they left the crowd behind and went with Jesus in the boat. He was already in. There, there were also other boats that went with them. A very bad wind came up to the lake. So the, there was a very bad wind. On the lake, the waves were coming over the sides and into the boat. And it was almost full of water. Jesus was inside the boat sleeping with his pillow. Oh, with, uh, sleeping with his head on a pillow. The followers went and woke him. They said, teacher, don't you care about us? We are going to drown. Jesus stood up and gave a command to the wind. And the water, he said, quiet, be still. Then the wind stopped and the lake was calm. 
our boys and girls. In this Bible story, we see that Jesus was in a boat, just like this. So Jesus was in a boat. This is a paper boat that we just made to show. So Jesus and his disciples were inside the boat. As the boat was going, suddenly, as we have read, there was a strong wind. And sometimes we call the strong wind a storm. And so that wind was pushing the boat either side. And the water was coming inside the boat. The boat was almost getting full of water. And you know what? Jesus was also in that boat. And so, boys and girls, can you imagine what happened? The disciples were afraid. They thought they were going to die. They thought the boat will capsize or they will drown. And so they quickly remembered, Jesus is in this boat. We can wake up Jesus and maybe he can do something about the wind. And they were right. And so they went to where Jesus was the bottom of the ship, of the boat. And Jesus was sleeping with his head on a pillow. And they woke up, Jesus said, Jesus, teacher, don't you care that we are going to die? And Jesus woke up and said to the wind, quiet, be still. And do you know what, boys? The wind stopped and there was no storm and it was calm and they continued with the journey. Boys and girls, what made the difference when the storm was there? It was the presence of Jesus in that boat. Jesus being in that boat made a big difference. If Jesus was not in that boat, I don't know what the disciples would have done. Who would they have woken up? They would not have woken up anyone. And so, because Jesus was in that boat, then there was help because his presence, Jesus was present in the boat. And so, boys and girls, as we said, today's lesson is about sailing in his presence. It means that when we walk in our lives, when we continue with our lives, we have to have Jesus with us every time. And Jesus is always with us. In fact, he is called Emmanuel, God with us. So that means that Jesus is always present with us. If you believe that Jesus is present, then he is present with you. The only way to know that you are with Jesus is when you know that you have invited him in your heart and he lives with you, then his presence is always with you. That means he is present in your life. He is in your heart. But if you do not have Jesus in your heart and Jesus is not your friend, that means his presence is not with you. You will be like the disciples without Jesus in the boat. And you can imagine what that, what that would mean. Now, boys and girls, before we continue any further, I would like us to invite Jesus in our heart. When we invite Jesus in our heart, then we invite his presence with us. And so we can walk with him. We can talk to him and talk with him and listen to what he has to say even as we live our lives. Like we say, our life is like sailing or a journey before finally we go to heaven. That is the journey. So that is how we will sail. And sometimes, boys and girls, when we sail, there could be storms. There could be strong winds. There could be disappointments. We could get sick. Sometimes bad things may happen to us, but if Jesus is with us, he makes our life 
better and easier and safer. Having Jesus in our heart or the presence of Jesus in our lives does not mean that everything will be okay. It means even when things are not okay, that Jesus is always there and he is going to help us the same way when there was a storm. He stood up and told the storm to be silent and everything was okay. And so boys and girls, let's invite Jesus in our heart, his presence to be with us and we will be safe we will be secured. That means not, no, no, no bad thing will happen to us. And we will also be peaceful. So we'll have peace the same way the sea was peaceful. If you would like to invite Jesus in your heart, I'd like you to say this prayer, boys and girls. Let's close our eyes and pray. Put your hands together, boys and girls. And let's say this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I invite you in my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Be with me and walk with me in this life. As I sail in this life, as I live this life, be with me, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, boys and girls, you have Jesus in your heart. And Jesus is your friend. He is present with you. His presence is with you even as you walk this life. And so, boys and girls, do not be afraid because you know that Jesus is with you. He will help you. You just have to call unto him the same way the disciples called unto him through prayer. When you have any trouble or any issue in this life, just before you talk to anyone, talk to Jesus through prayer and he will help you. Right, boys and girls? Amen. And so, boys and girls, our memory verse for today is from the book of John. Everyone say John. John chapter 15. Chapter 15. So we put two hands together, and then we put five fingers. All right? John chapter 15, verse 4. The Bible says, remain in me as I remain in you. Can we say that again? Remain in me as I remain in you. Remain in me as I remain in you. What this Bible verse, memory verse, is teaching us is that we need to remain in Jesus as Jesus remains in us. So every time you say the memory verse, please make it a prayer also. When you pray, you ask God to help you to remain in him as he remains in you so that he, you can experience his presence every time you go in a, any other place that you need to go to. So boys and girls, that is very, very important. God's presence in our life is very important. As we have learned today, sailing in his presence, making a journey in God's presence. And so for our craft today, boys and girls, we will make a boat because we, in this new series that we have begun today, we will be learning about sailing. And so we will make a boat, a paper boat, just like this one. And your parents will help you. You will need a paper like this. All right? So you will need a paper. So it can be an old uh, calendar or just a piece of paper. 
you fold it into two, right? After you fold it into two, then you fold it again. Because it's a big paper. So we fold it again. After you fold it again, we see whether it has folded. And so that's where we will do another folding. But this folding, we will do it inside along that line. So, and then we will also fold it on the other side. Then we will do another folding. Then we turn it and do another folding. I'm sure some of your parents did this when they were growing up, so they will help you to do this folding so that we can make a paper bot. Then we'll open up, we'll just open up and then do yet another folding. And another folding. After this folding, you fold it again. Then now you open up and then you have your pot. You have your, you have your pot right here. our memory verse here on this board right with the help of your parents John chapter 15 verse 4 remain in me as I remain in you and then here you have it your memory verse with a bot that we'll be using to sail our life's journey but we will not sail alone we'll be sailing in the presence of God we will be sailing with Jesus and in the coming lessons we will see how to sail with Jesus, how to sail in his presence, by him being our pilot, being our anchor, being our Lord, and the glory of, of God as we sail, and many other lessons. And today is that beginning of those lessons that we'll be seeing about sailing in God's presence. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for listening and even watching, I have had fun learning the word of God with you. Until next time, keep on sailing in God's presence. Keep on living your life in God's presence by reading his word and praying every day. Until next time, when we meet again to learn the word of God in the Bible, and have fun in his presence. Bye.